Hello YouTubers, today's video is a small private look at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. In August 2020, Maryland's son David and his family were transferred from Hawaii to Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Obviously, for security reasons, we couldn't take a lot of pictures. However, he was able to provide us a short tour on the base and in the facility where he works, where we can see a couple of things that are normally on view for the families and friends of military personnel. Since Fort Campbell is a very important and active installation, these sites are not available to be seen by the general public. Across from one of the buildings is an outdoor military exhibit of decommissioned aircraft and select armory with a few monuments. Even though this static display was relatively small and ha featured mostly military aircraft that were decommissioned, I found it rather moving to this old Vietnam vet, especially seeing not only Army aircraft, but also U.S. Air Force aircraft. The non-aircraft display was also very interesting, and I found I would have liked to have spent more time there looking through the different monuments and reading the different plaques however we did have family waiting for us across the street at the lot. I did take some time to walk through and take a picture of each individual display as well as the plaque that had information in front of it. Feel free to pause the video to read the plaques or just skip by to the next part of the video. Even though I took a picture of every display, I decided to put up the best pictures that I had and also to help keep the video a little shorter, not running over time, I decided just to cut down on some of the other ones that didn't look quite as good as the ones that I have up. I hope this video helps brings back some very good memories to my fellow veterans, especially those who were stationed at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. For those of you who do have some issues resulting in PTSD, I am going to be doing a short part in this video on the Medal of Honor winners, and you may want to skip past that. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy the rest of it. Across the street from the static display is a museum. However, because of COVID-19, that museum is closed, but the gift shop is open so we can peruse and do a little shopping in there as well. In McCoffey Hall is a rotundum, which had on display all the streamers for every campaign that was participated by the 101st Airborne Division. Again, feel free to pause to read any one of the banners. Under the banner display, you will find the names, the pictures, and the stories of every Medal of Honor winner from the 101st Airborne Division. I'm ashamed to say that the quality of this video does not do justice to those soldiers 
who have earned this highest award given by our country. I challenge any veteran, whether Air Force, Marines, Army, Navy, it doesn't matter, to walk into this display and not get choked up. This display is only a sample down payment for the freedom that every American gets to enjoy. I apologize for lecturing. That's not what my videos are for. When it comes to my comrades in arms, I get a little emotional. Once again, because this is a highly secure installation and this building requires top secret access to any other rooms, this is the only place that I'll ever be able to show you or the general public will ever be able to see if they have proper escort by military personnel. Otherwise, nobody else would get in to see what we are seeing right here. I must say, the people that work in this building are of those of the highest caliber that you will ever find in this country, let alone the world. I can only say that based on what I have seen, I am honored to have stepped just inside this lobby of this building. I hope you enjoyed this brief look at Fort Campbell, Kentucky, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And most of all, thanks for watching. Speaking of watching, look for my next video, a tour of Clarksville RV Park in Clarksville, Tennessee.